y'all. Welcome to the Style Chronicles. I wanted to share a quick video with you guys. I was sent some products by It Cosmetics, and I've been really liking the ones I've been using a lot every day for this kind of face. Um, and then, yeah, talk to you guys a little bit while I do that. So please stay tuned, and I will show you how I do this. It's really quick. Um, it gets uh, drawn out on here because my kids wake up and everything, but yeah, it's quickly done in the morning. So. Okay, Thank so you. to start, I've already done my foundation and concealer, and by done, I mean I've applied them to my face um, already, and I set my concealer with the Ben Nye powder in Cameo. I use that under my under eyes. Um, I'm out of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, so the small amount that I had, it's like trace amount, is what I use. So it's not as concealed as I usually like it, but it will work for now. To start, I'm going to use it Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil in Universal Taupe, and I like this. It's got a little brush. I like that. I like it to sweep away all these little hairs, too. Um, and then this is just a very neutral, kind of universal color for your brow. And I'm liking that more than I'm liking the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Pomade. I have those in like three colors and they always come off dark on my eyebrow and I just sometimes it, sometimes I can get it to look really great, sometimes it just looks so drawn on um, that I look in the mirror and I'm like, wow, I've got caterpillars up there. So this is just a little bit more natural, um, which is nice. So to do my brows, I usually start down here and I just create a um, arch and then I bring it down and I do the same thing on this side create an arch, bring it down because I don't have any hairs there and then from here I'll just start filling in going up, filling in, brushing up just to draw on small little bitty hairs just to fill in areas like so And then I will shape it up here. And then just shape that top and connect it. Okay, and I have two very differently shaped brows. This arch is high, this arch is not there, it's straight. This one has like an arch, this one's straight. Um, this one's bushier up here, this one's very sparse. It's crazy, my eyebrows are... I don't even think they would be friends in real life, to tell you the truth. Everybody always says, oh, my eyebrows are sisters, not, you know, twins. And the truth is, is mine wouldn't be friends, <laughs> much less sisters. They don't get along at all, so you can see the, the difference. And sometimes I will correct that by going in here and just kind of creating an arch, making that go up. And usually it's concealer that will fix that. Um, but since I'm doing an everyday makeup look, I'm not going to worry about correcting the concealer because I just used the pencil and that was it. And then you just brush it up to help that product distribute through the hairs and clean up anything that strays. Every now and then I'll look in a mirror, sorry, and I'll see like one hair that's like pointing down. It's the craziest thing and then I have to remind myself to trim that whenever I uh, remove my makeup for the day. So. There is that, and next I'm going to use the Naturally Pretty Volume 1 Matte um, Eyeshadow Palette by IT Cosmetics, and they did send this to me, and I've been loving it, loving it, loving it. Um, actually, I'll show you what they sent. They sent a big old box, looks like this, this is IT Cosmetics, big old box of stuff that I've been slowly kind of using, going through. Um, but this was one of them, the Brow Power Eye Pencil, which I'm really liking um, a lot. Like I said, it's kind of made my made me switch from my ADH because it just doesn't look natural. I don't know. It, it, 
and I like the look of finished brows, but I guess I'm not a makeup artist, so I can never really get a perfect application. Even when I try to go light with it, it doesn't apply very nicely. So here are the colors of the natural volume one uh, matte and I love these because they're all matte colors and I love matte colors especially if you have a hooded or a mono lid uh, matte colors give you the depth that you need the shiny colors kind of make your eyes look smaller your lids look flatter so these give you the dimension and then this one the transforming pearl you put you can apply on top of any of these to make it a um, shimmery shade. So I, I like that because it's all matte. There are no shimmers. This is the only shimmer in there and you literally, well you can use it by itself as a highlight or you apply it on top of another color and it will sheer it, kind of, you know, shimmer it out. So really, really pretty and there's some really good neutrals in there. So first I'm going to take this Sheer Joy, which is the light color right here, and I'm going to put that onto my lid just to even everything out. I ran out of my concealer completely so I can't even prime my eyelid with it and I usually use it as an eyelid primer um, in the mornings when I apply my makeup and I can't do that today which kind of sucks. Okay so there's that and then that warmth, it's called warmth, it's right here. I'm going to use that as my crease shade and that's going to go from here into my crease area and this brush does all the work all the time literally you just place it and swish and it uh, creates a crease so I like that and that's the MAC 221 the new one that I did another video on it right in there, back and forth, like so. Just to get some depth onto my lid. And this one will blend out for you as well, so you can kind of run it up and it will blend and apply. And if I wanted it to be more of a cut crease, I would keep the brow really tight and not blend, um, just kind of flick. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my Chanel 20, the contour one, and that mocha shade, which is right here. I'm going to get that onto my brush. And then bring it in slightly. And then I will use my 224, my MAC 224, to just blend the edges of the two colors out. Good morning, honey. Did you have a good night? Yeah. Did you sleep well? Yeah. Great. Okay, now I'm going to take that transforming color that you have right here, get that onto my brush, you <laughs> saying good morning, um, and that is going to go up here, just a little, and then on my inner corner as well, and I'll put it over some of that color, and you can see the shimmer that it brings, which is really pretty. Okay, somebody asked when I feel my most beautiful, and this is when I feel my most beautiful. My kids are waking up, and they are like, good morning, and how are you doing, and how was your night, and did you sleep okay? Um, it's like they repeat to me the same things that I've been telling them since they were little. Because um, I do it even to my three-month-old. When she wakes up, I get in her face, and I'm like, good morning, how was your night? Um, 
So yeah, to me that is when I feel my most beautiful and it's in the morning, like I said, when my kids are waking up and they're like, hey, it's a new day, yay, I love you, mommy. <laughs> um, that's to me the most prettiest that you will feel. Okay, so I'm taking that noir, noir, which might be the only French word that I can say properly. And I'm going to put that into my outer corner as well. So a little bit more depth. Of course, kids are awake. The house has to be awake now, so you're going to hear background noises. Um, because they cannot be quiet. So this is just going to get a little, little more definition to that outer corner. Jeez, kid, what did you just do? Okay, and I'm just blending that out. Oh, but that thing makes a lot of noise. Can you wait on playing with that for a little bit? Yeah, Please. Harper is asleep, so if you go to the bedroom, please do not wake her up. Okay. Brother, I asked you to wait. Okay. Thank you. It's just loud, honey. Okay, and then the IT Cosmetics Live, Love, Laugh, Vitality Face Disc. I'm going to use this to contour and um, apply my blush. This thing is huge. The sheer size of this is like the size of my palm. It's enormous. The mirror is like my entire face fits in this thing. It is crazy, crazy big. Um, this is my blot powder. So <laughs> for comparison, it is ginormous. Um, but it's nice because it's got all three things that you need to contour and apply your blush and everything. So I'm going to go in with the NARS Eda brush and that darker shade and I'm going to apply it on my cheekbones and my camera will adjust shortly. There we go. I'll just get that on slightly there. Okay, and then, and then, and then, no, and then. Then, are you okay? Why does your eye look watery? It's watery. Oh, don't jump this over because it's got a sifter and it's got powder that's loose. Okay, and then the sides of my nose, I go down. Like so. Go pick your clothes out so they can get dressed. And then whatever's left, I will apply up here. Just like that. Just those little areas. Okay, and then. For my blush, that shade, it's a really pretty kind of peach pink apricot. I'm not a fan of two peachy blushes. Um, this one is very, very peachy. I like really cool toned blushes. This one's very warm, but it looks really, really pretty. And although I don't like it when I first apply it, I like it about two or three hours afterwards when it's warmed up and like it's really in my skin. It looks pretty um, with that kind of apricot-y flush. But up until that point, I'm just like, ah, hurry up and blend. Okay, so there is that blush. And I applied that with the 137. I love this blush. Blush. Brush for blush. I always get those words confused. Okay, and then that shimmer shade I'm going to apply with, this is a Morphe S2001. Um, from their website, so that just goes into the, and this is one of the nicest highlights. It's so shimmery, but it looks like skin, and I usually love highlights. Really. Okay. okay, and then I will set with my Chanel powder and the it Cosmetics Heavenly Looks Wand Ball Powder. This is a really nice fluffy brush. Um, it was awesome. Oh, it went everywhere. And that just sets that powder. I don't necessarily like to use this with the Chanel powder because the wand is so fluffy, it throws product everywhere. So I feel like I'm wasting more powder than what I need to when I use it. And my Chanel powder is not 
a powder I like to waste. It's something that I like to use to set, but you know, use small amounts, not anything major. Okay. I feel like my face is so red in here today for some reason. It's crazy. Okay, and lastly, mascara and liner. And for liner, I'm just going to go right up against my lash line in here. Right against it. Just that outer corner because if I do anything past the middle of my eye, my eye looks tiny. Um, So yeah, anything past there and my eye looks so small, it's crazy. I also like to do my waterline, but I can't do that on camera because it ends up all over my um, contact lens and that is no fun because then I have to go take them out and wash them and all that stuff. So this is the mascara. It's the Hello Lashes It Mascara 5-in-1 Clinically Proven Mascara with Lash Ball Detailer. It is the neatest mascara wand or brush ever. It's got like a foam kind of, I know it feels nice, it's so comfortable foam handle. Um, so really, really nice. And I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm dropping everything here. Thank you, Sissy. Curl my lashes really quickly. And I need to get a new eyelash further. This one I feel like is on its last leg. I had one that actually broke. I went to curl my lashes and it popped. Like this part right here popped off. And I was like, oh my goodness. And I was so... It upset me because I was like, I put that so close to my eye every day. This is a Revlon one, um, but it doesn't crimp the way, I don't know, it doesn't crimp tightly. So I've got to find another one. I know the Shiseido one is the one that everybody kind of goes for. Okay, so this onto my lashes. And I've really been enjoying brushes that have that ball detailer on them because I can get so closely. Uh, into my lashes and separate them and I have such small I have very small features like super small I mean I look at my sister's face and I'm like why why couldn't I get at least one of your features because mine are so tiny and hers are like I feel like her eyebrows are exaggerated they're so beautiful and full um, and I know growing up we used to make fun of her because she had like a unibrow until she started plucking the center ones. But I would die, like I would give anything for my sister's eyebrows or her eyelid space, because even her eyelids, she doesn't have the mono lid like I have. She's got like an actual crease. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, you can do so much. Um, when we were growing up, I used to love to do her makeup because I just felt like I could. Can you go check on the baby? Let me please. Sure. I just her. Thank you. I just heard her scream. She's like, ah, like I'm here. Hello. Yeah, she's up. That's the awesome thing about having a seven-year-old <laughs> with an infant. She's very like, you know, the baby's okay. I can see her. Okay. And then um, for my lips, the It Cosmetics Vitality Lip Flush in Jeanne Sequa. Jeanne Sequa. Jeanne Sequa. See, it, I can say it in my head the way it needs to be said with the French flourish, but I can't actually say it out loud. Jeanne Sequa. Jeanne Sequa. Mm -hmm. It was up a baby. Okay, you guys. So this is my completed face. Um, I used the Lip Vitality. Blush in je ne sais quoi, je ne sais quoi, <laughs> I just cannot say that, um, which is so pretty. You can see how it looks. It's almost transparently pink, sheer, um, and then it goes on, and it's just your lips, but this one is like a little pinker than just your lips, like not nude at all, but just a little pinker, so really, really pretty, and this is my finished face. Great for every day. I've got the matte kind of um, contoured eye. It's not smoky. It's just kind of contoured for my eye. Uh, eyelid and then just the contour highlight and blush on my cheeks and that is the finished kind of everyday look that I've been wearing for the past two weeks every day every day I've just been wearing the same thing with the exception of the navy blue smoky eye that I did last weekend which I do intend to film a tutorial on I've just kind of got to get the lighting figured out um, 
for that because it's so kind of intensive concentration on your eye that you really have to be able to see my eye to be able to create it. Um, so yeah, that's coming. But for now, this is how I do my everyday basic face in the mornings lately. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Oh, Harper squealed. Mm -hmm. She squealed. She went, ah! <laughs> that has to be like the most awesome when your kids are in great moods in the morning. So, all right. Now what? Now what? What? Okay. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.